Hi there friends, it's Mary and welcome to my channel Ancestral Beginnings. So today um, I thought since spring is right around the corner we would make this cute little uh, springtime assemblage piece. Um, so I wanted to just give you a nice little shot of it and uh, we will go over the uh, supply list a, a little bit first and uh, so yeah let's get started this should be fun okay so the first thing I wanted to talk about was the image that we're going to use this one right here and I got this from a wonderful lady named Mary through her Etsy shop called Miles Beyond the Moon and she does uh, digital printables um, she uh, does graphics and um, creates printables this um, set is called the Moth Queen Art Dolls and you get um, two sets of images here and then these cute little fairies here um, and Mary was so sweet uh, she contacted me and um, I just love these so this one we're going to use and I um, I reduced it down for uh, our assemblage piece here so um, definitely check her out. I will have a link to her Etsy shop in the description box below. Okay, we're going to need a jewelry box. So this is, I've already painted it. This is just a craft jewelry box. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to thrift some, but you can get them probably at any craft store definitely on Amazon and um, let's see I did not measure these but it's about let's see three and a half inches square so it's a three and a half inch square jewelry box and then let's see you'll need some cardstock uh, this is to back the image um, I have uh, a, you know pink but it doesn't have to be I, I chose pink to match her dress um, and then two I didn't show you um, her collar and uh, cuffs uh, are like an aqua green and that's why I chose the aqua green for the box let's see you're gonna need some moss got this at Dollar Tree um, any of the craft stores will have the green moss you'll need a glue gun a hot glue gun and then you will need um, this is like three quarter inch square wood block I went ahead and painted it green and you'll see why that's an optional step you really don't um, need to do that but um, I went ahead and painted it um, another wood um, some type of finial um, some type of you can use some type of metal doodad anything that you want to adorn the top of the box with is good um, so I went ahead and just uh, at the craft store Hobby Lobby I bought these wooden drawer pulls I thought they were a good size and I've painted this one an off-white color then you're going to need, um, again, I used Hobby Lobby um, flowers. These are from Hobby Lobby. I think they're Paper Studio. Um, if you have 
a butterfly. It can be a paper butterfly um, or a, mine is a, a pin that I went ahead and I uh, cut the back off of. Then you will need mushrooms. I am going to give you a little tutorial on how to um, create mushrooms from clay. Um, and I suggest polymer clay. Polymer clay is probably the cheapest way to go um, and the easiest. So I'm going to show you how to make these. If you don't want to make them, uh, I'll give a couple names of some Etsy sellers that uh, sell the, um, you know, the little mini micro mushrooms that you can buy. And then you can just repaint them how, how you see fit. Um, and that's pretty much basically it. Um, you'll want some glitter and uh, maybe some Mod Podge for the, um, you know, applying the glitter and some E6000 if you've got any metal items like I've got the metal butterfly. Um, yeah, maybe some tweezers if you have tweezers. That will be make it easier to place the the little flowers and um, some little precision um, scissors to uh, cut out your image. And yeah, that's that's about it. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we'll do is we'll, we will go ahead and um, we'll first of all go ahead and paint your box. You'll want to do that for sure. Paint your bo box. That'll take time. And then we're going to glue our image. onto the cardstock. Now a lot of people, um, if you can, print your image out onto cardstock if you can. I have not, I have not tried doing that yet on my printer. Um, but it is something I have to try because it'll just give more added strength, um, you know, to your, to your image. So, So cut your image out and leave, you know, leave white space. Use your glue stick. And then we are going to put this under a book to allow it to dry and uh, flatten. So that's going under a book right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give you a little tutorial on how to make a mushroom. So get your polymer clay and uh, condition it, um, knead it, condition it, and then pinch off just a small little bit. Um, probably you only need about that much um, to make your first one. All right. Maybe like, I don't know, a fourth of an inch, a third of an inch in diameter this ball is. Okay, so first thing you want to do is roll it into a snake. Okay. 
and you're concentrating on how thick you want your stem at the bottom. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, now I, I'm going to pounce it like this to flatten the bottom. Ooh, kind of sticky. All right. There. And then, since you want the very bottom a little bit thicker and then, then the rest of the stem, now you want to roll again, thinning out, thinning out the stem here. Okay. All right, so it's gotten a little bit thinner. Then you put your thumb and your index finger right at the top. And I think this is going to be a little bit too long, so I'm going to take some of this off. All right, move that over there. You put your finger and your, your forefinger and your thumb nail right there at the top of the stem and then you just start pushing you just start pushing down okay and then smoothing as you go now i've got my uh stem a little bit long there so i'm just going to bring my finger fingers down lower and just start smushing again sticks so you just go around there and that's probably pretty good and then you can twirl it in your fingers and remember mushrooms in nature are not perfect So there you go. And then you just bake it according to um, the directions on the polymer clay package. Okay. So my image is probably flattened good enough and dry. Let me get it off the book and we're going to cut it out now so I'm using just little sewing scissors um, just use a small pair of detail scissors that you have and I'm going to cut off the excess here Now, one little tip, when you go to cut, I recommend that you leave about a millimeter white border all the way around. This way you can, um, if you're trying to cut right on the, right on the line, you might mess up and go into her dress. This way, you can always cut more away when you're done. Then the other thing is we are going to edge the image with um, ink. We're going to ink the edges so we can get rid of that white border too. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this out and then I will be right back. Okay, all right, so we have her all cut out, and I left a little bit of a white border all the way around her. And we're going to take the Tim Holtz Distress Ink. I use a vintage photo. You can use tea dye 
anything. And just go all the way around. Her. Now we're going to bring our box over and we are going to go ahead right now and distress the box. So again, do all the edges. Do the inside as best you can. Um, let's see. I even went and took a, um, I'm going to do the back a bit too. Um, I took a, a Q-tip and tried to get the edges. Um, I don't have my Q-tip with me right now. So we'll just do the best we can. Yeah, that's good. All right. Okay. going to see where she's going to go. I had her off to the side like this. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our, um, our wooden block. All right. And the reason I painted is then we are going to cover this wooden block with the moss. Um, and, uh, you know, just in case I didn't get all the moss covering the block, I went ahead and painted it. But that's just an optional um, thing for you. So we're going to kind of line this up as best you can. Okay. And we're going to tack her on. And hold her there. Make sure she's even, yep, it's good. Just like that. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to take our moss pull out a bit here. And we're just going to start piecing it 
in so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start and put some here and I'm gonna put some on this side too of her I'm just taking a piece that I think will fit uh, let's see yeah that's pretty good keep you know fitting her in okay and then I'm grabbing another piece here A little bit more here on the front it just kind of comes out in a line here oh, that's nice good all right Now, now we're going to go back to our girl and we're going to start gluing some of the moss over, over the block. Okay. So we get a little piece we think is going to fit.
Now I've got some excess here, so I guess I'll go ahead and clip a little bit of that off for the bottom here. Okay. All right. Let's try it in. See how it looks in our box. Let me get that right there. Okay. I think there's just a little gap in the back. So I'm going to put a little bit right across the back here. Okay. going back like this. Yeah. There. Very good. Okay. Now we can go ahead and glue our girl in. But before we glue our girl in, I think it'll be easier if we do her last and go on to our mushrooms and our flowers. Okay, let's do that. So I've got my mushrooms here and I've already painted them. Okay, and again I use the same color um, of aqua for um, one of the mushrooms and then I try to match the pink of her dress for the other two mushrooms and then I just used a dark brown for the dots on top and just mixed some white and dark brown together to get a um, uh, you know a uh, lighter color brown and again I went ahead and I distressed these so I'm going to go ahead and distress these a bit I just did it all over. I distressed the, I inked the uh, stems and I also uh, inked the tops. start trying them in. I tend to put the back, the big one, the taller mushroom in the back. And then next goes the middle one. Let's see. Just like that. And then the little one. Bring it and turn it to the side this way. Okay. Do that. kind of hold them there.
next one I'm going to have bend the opposite direction. Next, I have the flowers, okay, and um, two of them are glittered and one yellow one is not. Um, and again, one more time, I'm going to go ahead and distress them a tiny bit with the ink. And this distressing, this ink, you know, it's all optional. If you don't like it, if you don't like it grungied up. You don't have to. Okay. All right. Now, if you have tweezers, this might help, especially if you end up putting her in first before and not remembering um, tweezers would help. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab my tweezers. Let's see. How did I do this one? I put the two yellow on the left. I think I'll do that again. Put the two yellow on the left. Okay. Black blue. Right, last thing. Our girl goes in. Very good. All right. Last thing now, we will get, here's my butterfly. Um, Go ahead. Now, when you're using metal, I recommend E6000. Um, the hot glue, it's just probably going to pop off. So I am, for the sake of uh, having it stick and stay um, right now for videoing, 
I'm going to use, I'm going to try using both. Let's see how this is going to go. I'm going to try it in first. Let me see where, yeah, that's good. I like it there. Okay. Let's get some E6000 on this guy. then ooh, that's a lot okay and then we're gonna do a little bit of hot glue too and see how this works hopefully it doesn't there good all right I'm just holding them there a little bit He's pretty. He's blingy. He's got red eyes. Sweet little butterfly. Okay, now one thing you guys that I completely forgot to do before we put him together was to glitter up the mushrooms and glitter up her um her wings and everything. So, this will work out good actually. We'll let the butterfly dry a bit um, before we go on to the finial. But I'm gonna, hang on, I'm gonna get, here's a piece of paper right here. So I'm just gonna slip her underneath like this and we are gonna glitter her up a bit. I've got my glitter. This is extra fine. Um, when you're doing very small areas, extra fine is nice to use. And my Mod Podge. I'm just going to do the tips, do the tips of her. Of her wings. Do her do her collar. And the little wristlets here. Now, you can also, I, on my other one, I did um, the brown dots on the mushrooms. I glittered those up too. 
Um, I won't do them today. Um, but do that before you put them in. Next, we'll put the finial on. Once again, I'm going to use the E6000. Because it's metal, I'm going to do this little doodad first. I'm just going to eyeball this as best I can. It's actually pretty good. time we're going to ink up this little drawer pull. Too bad I didn't have anything a little bit fancier. I wish I did. want to stick. So I think what's going to happen is I'm going to use the E6000 let's see okay go. All right. Here we go. There she is. Cute little project. Thanks so much guys for watching. If you like this kind of uh, crafting, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, comment, tell me what you liked. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'm still new at, you know, explaining supplies and things like that. So, um, yeah, let me know if you like this. Okay, guys, until next time, thanks so much. Bye-bye.